icon.me review. If you're like me, um, sales and marketing is hard. That's, that's, for me, that's the hard part of innovation. Um, I find the product development, even the coding, um, the going from idea to prototype to, to product to market relatively, relatively simple. But the sales and marketing and trying to build traction is a hard part. Right. So obviously, traditionally, what you do is you, you, you know, you run ads, you do marketing campaigns, you go to social media, um, you reach out to agencies that will generate ads and videos for you. Um, and yeah, that's, that's just how it's done. But obviously, some people do it better than others. So I'm obviously excited when I come across new tools, automation, you know, process automation, AI, that promise to help make that process easier, especially for people like myself who are not experts in, in, in marketing or ads or you know that space. And one of the, the, the hottest new tools in the market is icon.me. It essentially is claims to use AI to generate ads for your products um, in, in probably pretty much in minutes, right? So the traditional process is if you're gonna create an ad, you probably get an agency, give them a brief about what your products are about. They'll you'll give them a brief on a script, they'll create a storyboard, a script. Out of that script, there'll be a voiceover. Out of that voiceover, then they'll go away and do any is it video shoots or if it's an animation, and then you look at it and there'll be a few iterations, and then eventually you'll approve it. But with Icon and their AI ad maker, they're claiming that you create these ads in minutes, right? It seems it's, it's got a lot of buzz online. That's how I came across it. Uh, I've checked it out myself. I've used it. It's been used by quite a lot of big brands. They have got some sample ads that they have generated or that, that you know existing users have generated that look really, really good. Um, if, if they're generated by AI and this process, then I, I think that they're quite good, but obviously we'll test it out ourselves. Um, and obviously, you know, the problem statement is quite clear. Generating ads is quite expensive. It's time consuming. It's extremely difficult. And if you're trying to do that at scale quickly and you've got limited resources, it's quite a problem. So hopefully this can solve it. Uh, it's got a four step process. You upload previous materials you have. So that's that's one thing I've noticed. You need to have had some existing branding materials. Obviously, you can still create ads. But if you want them on brand, you need to have some sort of previous materials that it can learn and borrow from. Um, it's got ad GPT, which is a prompt that you can explain what kind of ad you want. Um, then that will generate a script. And then that, based on that script, if you're happy with it, you can generate the ad. And once the ad is generated, you can then you know edit it and eventually produce it. Um, the platform comes with loads of different products, but obviously the main one is generating a script, generating ads. I think the, the cool additional feature that I've seen, uh, the audience research bit, which we'll, we'll show you, um, it's got this tool called Zora where you can upload an image and that image will be turned into a short video. Um, it's, got, it's got some other tools that I haven't used, analytics, ads manager that links to your meta, meta ads, I haven't used that much. But it's got some some cool, and then of course it does a bit of a comparison with other with other platforms. Okay, I won't bore you with all that. Let's let's jump straight into it. All right. So these are ads that I generated previously before. Um, I'll show you what, what one of the final products looks like. But what the process looks like is, if you want to create a new ad, you go in and say, you know. Add GPT, create a new ad. You can say, I'd like to create a new ad for my product. Now, I'd already uploaded material before, so it's a way of one of my products. And it goes, we're assuming you're creating an ad for one of these products, the existing one, the only one. It checks the different potential audiences for that product. Again, this is one of the cool features. It generates ready-made market research for your target or for the for, for the potential target audience, and can then generate scripts based, you know, targeted at that specific audience. So in this case, it's going to say here are all the potential 
target audiences you might have and you know again you can one on one of the tabs you can go in and zoom into all this market research and understand what the target audience is what it's based on and then you can generate an ad for that target audience um, so in this case we'll select product managers in technology companies Okay, so it's going away and based on its understanding of the, all the materials I uploaded, videos, product descriptions, um, well, not really product description, product images with copy and text, it's then generating an ad. So let's, okay, so it's generated a script. Let's listen to the voiceover for that. is you know it's even got age groups in there it's got a score on a scale of one to ten how close they are to your target audience and i think that those scores are quite quite accurate so let's listen to the voice when your product that. roadmap starts looking like a jackson pollock painting you know it's time for a change Introdu okay so i don't like that voiceover it sounds very robotic it sounds very ai so let's try and change it there's a previous voiceover that I like that seems a bit more natural. Okay, so I was talking about the different target audiences. When your product roadmap starts looking like a Jackson Pollock painting, you know it's time for a change. Introducing the Straw Path Innovation Toolkit. It's what happens when structure meets innovation. No more random feature requests. So I like that voiceover. It sounds natural. It's organic, doesn't sound robotic, so we'll go with that. And again, there's loads of voiceovers you can pick from different accents, um, obviously mostly European and American, some Asian, but, um, but yeah, so you can, you can pick from those voiceovers. If you don't like the script, you can ask it to generate more scripts. You can keep doing this over and over and over again. Again, if this was, you working with an agency or a scriptwriter, it would be a process that takes hours, days. If you've got a voiceover, again, that's separate, that's another few hours, days. Um, and obviously we're generating this in minutes. So already there, there's a lot of time saved um, from the existing from the existing process. Now, this could also be used by agencies. You could also be running an agency and you think to yourself, I'll use this to generate scripts more affordably for my clients, a lot quicker. Again, if your clients are happy with it, you're transparent that it's AI generated. I don't see a problem with that. Okay, so let's go ahead and, you can then go ahead and generate the ad. All right, so while that's running, I'll quickly show you some of the other features. Um, the audience research. So this is the bit where I was saying based on its the application's understanding of the product, it then goes away and creates profiles of all the different target audiences. And you can see this is almost, oops, okay. So it's, as it's generating the ad, it'll ask me, what kind of ad do I want to generate? Do I want it to just generate the voiceover and captions and then I'll add in all the clips and images or do I want to generate the voiceover captions and all the matching clips? Essentially do 80 to 90% of the work and then I'll just be left with 10% to tweak. So. Depending on how creative you think you are, you can pick one of those options. I always pick generate 80 to 99 percent, then I'm only left with you know one to 20 percent to do, which for me is the easy bit. All right, so then goes away and starts to generate your script. Oh, sorry, to generate the video. You can see it's taken the script and broken it down into different frames. And for each of those frames, it will generate the corresponding images and clips based on its understanding of what it thinks is best. You can choose the format you want the ad to be generated in. It could be an Instagram Reel, Instagram Story, TikTok, YouTube Shorts, or a LinkedIn video. Um, you can choose music to go with it if you want. You can choose sound effects. You can, again, play around with the voiceover if you want. You can add captions. Um, which are all standard things that you'd want in your ad. So anyway, as that is running, I'll take you back to what I was talking about, the, creative, the, the market research. So here you can tell it's produced about almost 24 different audience profiles. 
you click on any one of those, again, it gives you more details around that audience, um, the income levels, the purchase motivations. Again, this is research that you'd easily pay hundreds, if not thousands of, of dollars to, to generate. And that's generated off the bat. Now, this is, a pro this is all information you could probably generate on your own with AI applications. But what I like about this application is that it puts it all together in, in, in a relevant context, right? It's, 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 it's an AI wrapper that takes a use case, creating ads, and gives you all the tools you need, all the AI tools into, in one place. You're not going into different tools to try and generate these things separately, right? Um, so I thought this is a really, really cool feature. Anyway, back to the ads. Obviously, that's still generating. I'll quickly show you a couple of other features. Um, so the ad is generating there. It's going to take a few minutes. Uh, we've gone through ad GPT, which is generating a script. Um, I said some of these I don't use. So creative library is the files that I've uploaded before. So these are files that are me speaking or product videos. Uh, it's got a library of AI avatars that you can use in your ads. It's limited, but I don't use any of them at this point. But if you want to use AI influencers in your ads, again, that's available. Uh, right, the other cool feature before I show you how the videos look like, the ad videos, is this feature where you can upload an image and turn it into a small video. Right. So I uploaded an image before, um, and then it generated this. So that was an image I generated, a, a photo I generated, sorry, then asked it to, using a prompt, told it, generate a video of, of me walking away, um, looking back at the camera and waving. Now, I don't think that looks exactly like me, but I'm sure with a, with a bit of tweaking, it can get a bit more accurate. Uh, here are the videos. Again, the prompt there was looking at the camera and smiling. Again, this all comes from an image so it's it's essentially taking an image and extrapolating and trying to create a video out of that the videos are not very accurate i mean they don't necessarily look exactly like me but if you're not too fussy about the resultant clip um, especially if it's a generic image then it shouldn't be a problem here's one where based on text to video say create a video or clip of a lion walking in the city looking up at the skyscrapers again it's not the best but you know i'm sure if you spend enough time you can get it accurate right so let's go back to okay so it's generating the ads there so i'll show you what it looks like once it's generated the ad So once it's generated ad, it essentially for each frame, it generates clips um, and images which you can replace, you can play around with. Um, for the video I generated, I did that. It was pretty much 80% there. So I just had to change a few clips here and there. As it's doing that, you can play the video, see what it looks like. You can change the format, see what it looks like. And then if you're happy, you can approve it or you can reject it. Uh, back to previous videos. I've, created so this is so this is the video i created previously uh, it's good again went in and edited the different frames the images in the different frames relatively happy with it um and i thought it for something i generated in a few minutes less than 30 minutes i thought it was a very good ad i'd happily run it probably will run it um, on YouTube when, when, when I'm ready. But again, took me less than 30 minutes. Previously, that's probably a process that I've taken hours, if not days. Uh, and let's see what the final ad looks like. Uh, so if we go back, go back to the downloads. Click view. When was the last time your entire product team was aligned on the innovation process? Yeah, thought so. Product managers know the pain of juggling different frameworks across design, development, and strategy teams. 
The Straw Path Innovation Toolkit fixes this with a unified system of physical and digital tools that bring structure to chaos. It's not another theoretical framework. It's practical processes for validating ideas, measuring product market fit, and getting cross-functional teams speaking the same language. Because shipping great products shouldn't feel like herding cats. Wow. So, like I said, for something that took less than 30 minutes, I think it's a relatively good ad. Um, I like it. Uh, obviously, it, might, it could do with a bit of tweaking. If I was an expert, I probably would get it a bit more sharper. The editing tools are really good, easy to use, point and click. Um, I really, really like this new no-code automated tools that require that you know you can use without having to be a coding expert or a technical expert. So again, if you're starting out or if you're running a small agency and you need to create ads, I think this is fantastic. And yeah, so that's 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 pretty much it. So if you're happy with it, um, you know, check out if if you if you want to see more detailed reviews of automated automation AI tools, subscribe, um, sign up to the newsletter, and and and, and yeah, and, and happy to be happy to help out where I can.